Hey yo, welcome to Loguido's Chop Shop, the second best gel blaster channel on the internet. And today I'm going to be building uh, a DMR inspired by the Remington R11 RSASS or RSAS. Um, basically the semi-automatic sniper system. Uh, it's not going to be technically accurate, so who cares. Um, obviously, uh, I'm working with an M4 base receiver, so whatever, sue me. So what I've got to start off with here, I've got a Gen 9 lower receiver and gearbox. I've already upgraded the spring in this, and I have, um, added a mag priming switch here, so that when the charging handle is pulled, It will press that button down and prime the mag. So uh, I've I've already taken this upper and uh, modified it slightly with this uh, different style of charging handle. Uh, it's an ambidextrous charging handle, so it's kind of cool. Um, Obviously, the Remington would have it on the side. Let's not even go there. Um, I fitted the barrel nut to the end here. Uh, this is cool because it is the Gen 9. Um, you can just screw the barrel nut directly to the upper receiver and it works perfectly like that. All right, so i um, just going to assemble that together and I'll work on getting the... Pistol grip, I believe. Okay, so I've just um, popped the upper and lower receiver together and I've uh, popped a mag in just so that we can test the uh, priming. Nice. So the uh, Gen 9 pistol grip that it comes with is this one. And um, it's got these weird four hole arrangement uh, for screwing it into the base of the gearbox here. So, um, I don't want to use that one, I want to use this one. So what I've done is I've just modified that one slightly. I've had to move some of the holes because they weren't in the right spot, but uh, she'll work. So uh, that'll go on here, just feed the wires through the wire holes, pop it up, and now just get those screws in the bottom there. Now it pays to have a really long screwdriver or some sort of screwdriver extension for this. Just got to get right down in there. So now that the uh, the pistol grip is on there, I'll pop the motor in. Now, um, this is interesting because this little piece that actually goes in here when you screw this in, it will actually set the set the motor depth. Now, when this is coupled with the standard uh, pistol grip, it actually sets the depth precisely um, to fit the Gen 9 from factory. However, with this new handle, all bets are off. I don't know, it could be anything. So I'm going to have to um, adjust this screw and find out where the motor is supposed to sit in this particular handle. I said all bets are off. Uh, literally, all bets are off. So this grip is the worst. I... Um, it looks really nice, but I've never had any luck using this at all. It's 
weak and flimsy. The the plastic that's made out of is soft, whereas your standard Gen 9 one's nice, quiet, rigid and tough nylon. You're not going to have any issues with um, this one. Uh, so it seems that there's, I guess, some sort of length difference between where the motor uh, holder sits on the standard grip and where the motor holder sits here. So even with no screws fitted, um, sorry, no motor screw fitted here, this is pushing the motor up way too high into the gearbox, so this is actually shorter. Um, I'm going to have to uh, space it down a bit, but the screws that come with this that hold the motor plate in are too short uh, to even reach the holes, so I'm going to have to um, make up some sort of spacer and use longer screws and... It's a pain. I, I don't know why I can... If, if these grips didn't look so good, I would not use them. And I totally don't recommend using them if you're going to try this um, yourself. If you've ever worked on cars, this is this is what's referred to as a, a bolt-on modification. Put that in there. And the palm shelf. Moving along, um, just pop the upper receiver off because I've got this uh, Brewsmaster tight bore barrel with the Gen 9T that we're going to pop in there. And uh, I'm just going to show you this. This is a 14 millimeter reverse thread adapter for the Gen 9. I've had so many people ask me where do you get that and I can't answer you because I don't know like I've looked everywhere for these it seems like this must have been the last one available in the world or something I, I don't know um, I can't find them anywhere anymore uh, this cost me like 20 bucks. This is a 14 millimeter left hand thread adapter with the slots for the Gen 9T. So that it fits in there. Um, yeah, I, if you can find them, let me know. Let me know where, where they are because... I can't find them anymore. Um, so that T piece lives in there. Like that. Then your uh, reverse thread adapter goes on there. You can then take your barrel assembly 
thread it on backwards onto that adapter. And the whole thing is held on tight with your barrel nut. Now one of the cool things about the Gen 9, as I've mentioned before, is the barrel nut does thread directly onto the nylon upper receiver of the Gen 9. Um, so you don't have to do any fancy adapters there. That just bolts or screws straight on. Uh, I only go hand tight uh, because it is only nylon. You don't want to strip the threads on that. Now this next bit's going to require some amount of customization This one's not quite what I need, so I'm going to have to fix that. Gotta bolt these two little bolts on here to hold the handguard. Now I've got this gas block here which is by no means necessary, but I think it uh, adds to the look that I'm going for. I'll just tightens with these two little Allen screws here. Now I've purposely left a bit of uh, barrel sticking out for the hop up and I'm using this SLSS hop up and that fits nicely on the end of the barrel there. And it also allows for me to fit this flash hider. Let's put the uh, pins to hold the receiver together. And we'll work on this stock. Now the way that this uh, buffer tube attaches is quite interesting. You see it's got little keyways here which line up with the keys on the back of the uh, Gen 9 receiver there. But you need a really really long 
Phillips head screwdriver down this tube and into there to get to that bolt. This bolt then uh, screws into the back of the receiver and then that's what holds that buffer tube on nice and tight now your battery wires go into the buffer tube, fairly regular stuff, but um, in this particular setup these wires poke into this little channel before going all the way down the tube. Now the stock slides on there and then there is a retaining bolt in the end of it there. Which you access through the back. And now I've um, got this key mod uh, bipod adapter here, so I'll fit that so that we can fit the Harris-ish bipod to it. Fit this bipod and last but not least, like a scope on it. Three thirty eight, three twenty nine, three twenty, three twenty six, three thirty six. All right, I think that's good enough. Alright guys, it's been fun. Um, hope you've enjoyed this build. As always, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and if you want me to be able to keep making these sorts of videos, and if you really enjoy them, like I enjoy making them, feel free to uh, shout me a coffee, and then I might be able to Continue to do this. Alright. Catch you later.